from an industrial district to a thriving city. During the first decades of the 20th century, Stockholm grew rapidly. It expanded from the inner city, taking shape even outside the inner borders. To secure the city's food supply, a meatpacking district was established in Enschede, south of Stockholm. Small-time butchery was banned, and the new meatpacking district was now the only place where you could slaughter and trade with animals. It became a state-of-the-art facility, built by inspiration from Germany and the United States, with a newfound material, iron, and reinforced concrete. The focus on sports in the south part of Stockholm also began in the beginning of the 20th century. The football stadium Johannes Hov IP started to be built 1918 and was ready 1928. Ericsson Globe opened 1989 and is the world's largest spherical building. The Ericsson Globe has become one of the great symbols of Stockholm and Sweden. Tele2 Arena opened 2013 and house up to 40,000 visitors and is one of the world's most modern multi-arenas. Stockholm is growing with 40 people every day and by year 2040 the city will have 1.3 million citizens. It's one of the top five fastest growing regions in Europe, so there are lots of needs to be met, like more housing, workplaces, traffic solutions and parks. Stockholm's meatpacking district has existed and evolved over more than a hundred years. In the new meatpacking district, the food tradition and the unique history will be preserved and developed. The meatpacking district is a part of Söderstaden, which in turn is one of Stockholm's largest city districts under development. Söderstaden consists of South Skanstull, the Ericsson Globe area and Gulmarsplan Nunes Wagen. Söderstaden will be developed into Stockholm's core area for entertainment with a wide range of activities within sports, culture, nightlife, but also retail, offices and service. Small scale is mixed with urban, housing with business enterprises and old with new. The program will clarify the conditions and set goals and guidelines for the area's development. Parks, squares and pathways are the cornerstone of the new meatpacking district. The area will develop step by step during the years to come. Industrial companies will move out from the area, old buildings will be torn down and new ones will be built. There will be a new subway station with two different exits and entrances in the area. There are many different collaborators dedicated to see the district prosper. The meatpacking district contains a treasure of culture. Around 15 culturally significant buildings will be preserved and they will serve as the foundation for the new meatpacking district. Great care and consideration will go into what's missing today such as greenery and places to meet for recreational reasons. In the new meatpacking district, old and new will exist side by side. Neighbouring districts will be made more accessible and you will be able to move safely both as a pedestrian and as a cyclist. When the district is finished, there will be a total of 4,000 new homes, 10,000 workplaces, new schools, preschools, parks, streets, squares, shops and restaurants. The new district is planned to be completed around the year 2030.